You don't think Tyson is a serious opponent for him? Come on. 61 years. I, I love, I saw him the Come on. You don't think Tyson is a serious opponent for him? Tyson, 61. I love Tyson. I saw him the other day. I told him, take a punch. Of course, he's got a puncher's chance. The first three rounds, I'm a little scared for Tyson, but after the third round, I'm worried about him getting hurt. Were some of the concerns raised in the wake of Mike Tyson's upcoming fight with Jake Paul? At 61, Tyson is significantly older than his 27-year-old opponent, and while some see his age as a disadvantage, Tyson is determined to prove he still has what it takes to compete. Boxing pros have issued brutal warnings about Tyson stepping back into the ring, but the legend himself remains unfazed. Tyson admitted that training has taken a toll on his body as he prepares for the November 15th bout. It's hard to walk right now, but two months from now I'm going to be perfect, Tyson told reporters. After a flare-up of an ulcer that sidelined him for a few weeks, Tyson resumed training, saying that despite the challenges, he's fully committed to being ready for the fight. During a recent appearance at a Cage Wars event in New York, Tyson fielded questions about his recovery and preparations. No, I'm going to enjoy my time here tonight with my childhood friends. The hell with Jake Paul, Tyson said when asked if he planned to leave the event early to train. It was a casual yet confident remark, highlighting Tyson's nonchalant attitude toward his opponent. Tyson shared that he recently completed six rounds of sparring and plans to increase his training intensity, ramping up to 10 rounds of sparring to prepare for the eight two-minute rounds scheduled for the fight. Tyson also revealed that he's employing stem cells and electric stimulation therapy to aid his recovery, saying, I'll do anything that helps me. Despite the physical toll, Tyson seems undeterred by concerns, focusing instead on the thrill of the fight. Tyson's reasons for taking the fight go beyond financial incentives. I could be sitting at home waiting for checks from my cannabis company, but that's not who I am, Tyson said, referring to his cannabis business, Tyson 2.0. I want to expose myself to risk, to see who I really am. I want to see what I'm made of. Tyson's return to the ring is met with excitement and some skepticism. UFC legend Ken Shamrock voiced concerns about the fight, predicting a negative outcome for Jake Paul. Jake Paul can't win. If he beats Tyson, it'll feel like beating up an old man, and it'll leave a bad taste in the boxing world, Shamrock stated. He suggested that if Paul wins, it might be seen as disrespecting the legacy of Mike Tyson a figure deeply admired in the boxing community. DJ Vlad, a well-known interviewer, compared this potential situation to Trevor Burbick's victory over Muhammad Ali in 1981, a match where Burbick faced criticism for defeating a much older, past his prime Ali. If Paul were to knock out Tyson, he might find himself similarly reviled, as fans could view it as taking advantage of Tyson's age and declining physical condition. Former heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder also expressed concerns about Tyson's health. I think it's bad the commission licensed Tyson because he hasn't been active for 20 years. God forbid he gets hurt, Wilder warned. He even suggested that Tyson could end up seriously injured or in a coma if hit in the wrong place. Despite such warnings, the fight has received official approval and the promotion is in full swing. Legendary boxing commentator Jim Lampley also cast doubt on the legitimacy of the fight, calling it not real boxing on the Asterix Awful Announcing Asterix podcast. This isn't going to be a serious fight between two trained boxers at their peak. It's more of an event for entertainment, Lampley explained. Both Tyson and Paul have promised to deliver knockouts, but Lampley and others in the boxing community remain skeptical of the true sporting value of the bout. Tyson's most recent appearance in the ring was in 2020 in an exhibition fight against Roy Jones Jr., which ended in a draw. That match had similar rules to the upcoming fight with Paul, featuring shorter rounds and modified rules for safety. In contrast, Jake Paul, who is 34 years younger than Tyson, has fought 11 professional matches and boasts 10 wins, 
his only loss coming from Tommy Fury in 2022. Despite his critics, Tyson is focused on the challenge ahead. This fight isn't going to change my life financially, this is just what I want to do, Tyson explained. He insists that this is more about proving himself and enjoying the thrill of competition than about the money. In a clever promotion stunt, Paul recently disguised himself to gain entry into UFC 36 NOS, where he confronted Tyson at at NT Stadium, the venue for their upcoming fight. The two fighters shared a tense stare-down, heightening anticipation for the event. Paul, taller and younger, towered over Tyson, fueling speculation that his physical advantage might tip the scales in his favor. Fans have taken to social media to express a mix of excitement and concern. Some are eager to see how Tyson will perform after so many years away from the ring, while others fear for his health. One fan commented, Mike better win bro, I'm seriously doubting him. Concerns about Tyson's past health issues, including his recent ulcer flare-up, have led some to question if he's truly ready for the fight. Jake Paul, known for his brash attitude and controversial career, is also a point of contention among fans. Some see him as the king of beating senior citizens, given his past matchups against older opponents with limited boxing experience. However, Paul has demonstrated real knockout power, and many believe he has the potential to win, especially given Tyson's age. Joe Rogan, on his podcast Asterix, the Joe Rogan Experience Asterix recently weighed in on the fight, expressing concerns about the potential outcome. Paul has real power, and I really hope he doesn't knock Mike Tyson out. That would bum me out, Rogan said. Tyson is 61, and even though he's still dangerous, a guy like Paul could take advantage of that age gap. Rogan further explained that Tyson's age puts him at a disadvantage but he also warned that Tyson shouldn't be underestimated. Carl Frock, the former super middleweight world champion, echoed these concerns, suggesting that Tyson might be playing a role rather than treating the fight seriously. He's 58, past his best, and now fighting a guy much younger, Frock said. He criticized Paul for accepting the fight, calling him a pretender and questioning Tyson's decision to step back into the ring. Tyson's an old man. With all due respect, he's 58. This fight shouldn't be happening. Brock also pointed out that Tyson's lifestyle, including his cannabis use, may not be benefiting him from a boxing perspective. He's still smoking weed, and that's not good for his health, especially when he's about to get back into the ring, Brock added. Despite Tyson's insistence that he's ready, Brock believes the fight is more about money than competition. Many analysts agree with Frock, suggesting that the fight could end badly for Tyson if he's not careful. The risk of injury is high and Tyson's age makes him more vulnerable to long-term damage. However, Tyson remains confident in his ability to compete, stating that his training and experience will carry him through. As the fight approaches, anticipation is growing. For fans of Tyson, this is an opportunity to see a legend return to the ring. For Paul's supporters, 